What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a kick-ass freaking Saturday. Here, it's stormed all day, but right now it's sunny. Um, so, there's no telling. The weather is like people. You never know what the hell you're going to get. But, today, guys, we're not going to talk about Chad Bitch, okay? We're going to talk about another person that's taken over the news, at least starting today, is Michael Charles Burnham. He escaped... Warren County, Pennsylvania jail yesterday, um, well, on Friday the 7th, yesterday, they don't have an exact time, you know, but, um, you know, here's a picture of him right there. That is Michael Charles Burnham. He escaped Warren County jail in Pennsylvania yesterday on the 7th now the things that I've seen on it about his escape is he climbed up some he was on the rec yard and he climbed up some I guess exercise equipment and went through a little metal fence that you remember the other day and I said that you know we don't we could see in the sky from the jail I was in it's not like you know you could look up and just walk out and get out of there but it was like a chain link fence. I think this was the same thing. Not 100% sure. Never been there, to be honest with you. Don't want to freaking go. But they're saying that he climbed up, pried his way through there, and used bed sheets now, the, to repel himself down. Now, the first thing I saw today was he went down seven stories. Now, here is a picture of the jail. Now, that does not look like seven stories to me. But either way, you know, they said that he was always in restraints, his handcuffs and ankle bracelets and all that, that when he was, you know, being, you know, moved around the jail. But during a wreck, you're, you know, obviously you're not shackled up during a wreck. But I have a question. Even if it's just that picture, which was, what, two stories maybe? You know, so you figure... 20 feet we'll say we'll say 20 feet but he they say he tied sheets together and repelled himself down first what did he tie it to uh in inside the jail on the roof and whatever unless i guess he could have to the fence if it's a chain link fence but how did you get enough sheets from your cell to the rec yard without it being noticed i mean He's not that big of a guy, you know, so you can't say that, you know, if you put a bunch of sheets inside your clothes, it's going to be noticeable. So that one, that one kind of threw me off. I don't understand how that happened, but he was in there for a arson and burglary charge. And before he was arrested, he went on this little multi-state manhunt. You know, he is, he's also wanted in New York for the homicide and rape of a young lady. Now, you know how I feel about this shit. You raped somebody? Okay, Mikey, Mikey boy. I hope when they do catch you, and yes, they will catch you, if it's not a suicide by cop type thing to where you just get killed, I hope you get raped when you're in prison on a numerous basis. I mean, like, as soon as they pick up the lunch trays, I hope you're bent over. You know, you rape somebody, you're a bitch. I hope you, I'm not going to say I hope you die because <laughs> I want you to get raped before all that, before your ending comes. But then he's also being looked at and charged. He's not been officially charged with it, I don't think, but you know, whatever. He carjacked an elderly couple back in May and went from Pennsylvania to South Carolina. Uh, held them at gunpoint, kidnapped them, their SUV and all that stuff like that. And I think he set their car on fire. I'm pretty sure I think I read that right. If I remember that right, he set his car on fire. So yeah, this is a new guy. And this guy is a bit different because he has some survivor skills. I mean, like they're saying that this guy is just a legitimate little boy scout. You know, he can live off the land. He can 
go up to a creek, catch a frog, and they have the frog legs, you know. So, and then this guy's going to be a little bit difficult to catch. You know, he's he's got a, like, 12, 13-hour head start. So, we'll see how this one ends up. I'll keep you updated on this one as well. Um, I'm just trying to get my mind away from Chad Bitch a little bit. Because I told you in the other video that there's some things that just stick with you. And this Chad Bitch just stuck with me. <coughs> I know I had to have a guy come. I had a water leak in my house this morning and a drain in my kitchen. The pipe that goes, the, the drain pipe was leaking. So I had to have somebody out here. And what does my dumbass do? I go straight into, hey, have you watched the news? Did you see what's going on? You know, because I'm obsessed with that. But I'm trying to get my mind away from it a little bit. So I'm going to focus on Michael Charles Durham. Or Durham. Durham. I don't know. Mikey. Little Mikey. But anyway, this guy has some bad news too. You know, he's got rapes, murders, burglaries, homicide. I mean, uh, arsons. He's got all kinds of stuff going on. And if for some reason, you know, they don't catch him soon, he's going to travel. He is going to walk 500 miles. You know, if this guy can live off the land, it means that he can maneuver through things and he can survive. And, you know, so guys up in that, you know, little area in the northeast, be on the lookout, be careful. You know, I know that they've got all the local, state, federal, everybody, all the law enforcement, FBI, everybody's in it. They're all looking. So this guy's some serious shit. So everybody be careful. Keep your eyes open. You know, they're telling people that was in that area to look at their doorbell, their ring bells and their security cameras and everything else around certain times last night to see if they can pick him up on where he may have headed but again guys i love all you guys so you all be safe and enjoy your weekend have a great time if it's not raining here we me and my wife talked about cooking out but we'll see all right weather is unpredictable as hell but guys thank you guys so much i will also like i said i will also keep you updated with this case as well i'm just trying to absorb everything i can and I just heard about this not too long ago, so I'm just doing what I know right now. And I'm sure more details will come out. And when they do, you will know. Guys, thank you all so much, and you'll have a kick-ass freaking weekend.